Hey there, friends and family. I just wanted to reach out to you and start off 2023, our first official day in the office, thanks to that federal holiday yesterday. Anyway, uh, many people have asked what's going on with interest rates. Do we think they're going to go down this year? Uh, those kinds of questions. As a matter of fact, I got a text from a client who's shopping for uh, something in the price range of $460,000 to $520,000 as a home. And that was their exact question. What do we think interest rates are going to do? Well, let's take a quick glance at what's happening with that market today. So we can kind of see interest rates are a bit better today uh, than they were at the close of business on Friday. So we're seeing some good things. We saw some of the highest rates in the past 12 months back in October. So we're certainly trending in a good way. When you look at some of that, what is that rate doing? We see a subtle change here on the Freddie Mac mortgage market survey, a little bit of an increase over last week. Now this information comes from Freddie Mac based off of applications that were received the previous week. So through the week of 1229, these were the average interest rates that were being calculated on those loans. It doesn't go into whether or not they were paying any points or those kinds of things, but it does give us a trend line to see that, hey, that interest rate went up a little bit, but it's certainly down over that 52 week number where we see that 52 week high of 7%. Obviously, we see also that 52 week low of 3.25. So significant uptick from where we were, but where we were was probably not really a, a, a connection with reality. Some of the other information, what's going on with housing prices and that uh, stability, and we see that we're a little bit down on uh, confidence, but I uh, think that the housing pricing will stay pretty uh, stable given what's happening in other areas of our marketplace. So should you buy, should you not? Another common question we're getting today, and I say, yeah, you should buy. Obviously, I'm influenced by that because, uh, um, well, get a mortgage when you buy, but really the protection that it provides for your household budget is so important. When we look at some of the impacts of inflation, uh, one of them being what has gone on with rent increases in the US, we can actually drill that down by state by state and see way down here, uh, Wisconsin, number 39, we saw a 10.26% increase. Uh, one other state that I am licensed to originate loans in is uh, Indiana. So we can go and find Indiana. And I have to admit, I didn't look it up just yet, but let's see uh, where they are on the list. Maybe I missed them. But I also see we only have 48 states on the list here. So uh, our, our good friends here at Credit Karma aren't giving us necessarily a full description, but there it is, number 20 uh, at 13.78% increase. So again, we're seeing Wisconsin just over 10% increase in housing costs for rent and Indiana, a 13% increase. So certainly a homeowner who purchased prior uh, would have a stable, you know, their property taxes may ebb flow a little bit, but that would happen as well in a rent situation where the landlord's going to pass that increase on to the tenant at the renewal. So um, this is really, though, just describing uh, that increased supply demand, the increase that uh, is being impacted there. As I mentioned, I'm licensed to do business in Indiana and Wisconsin. So if you're in one of those two states thinking about buying a home, now's a great time to get connected, get your pre-approval in place, uh, talk about strategies to maybe help solidify what you're doing in your marketplace. You can reach me at 414-350-7394 uh, or via the internet, www.ccmcwi.com. Thanks, talk to you soon.